Hi people at School of Rock, how are you doing? Are you having a good time at home? Hope you're still singing some of those songs that we sing in uh, School of Rock. Um, I'm here today and I'm going to do a couple of things. First of all, we're going to read a story. Then we're going to have a think about what it means. And then I'm going to set you a challenge. And I wonder if any of you can do the challenge by next time we meet. First of all, the story. You should have been sent a sheet. Your parents should have got a sheet last week about Jesus in the storm. Let's just read about the captain of the storm. The sun was going down. The air was warm and still. Let's go across the lake, Jesus said to his friends. Jesus had been helping people all day and now he was tired. So they left the crowds at the shore and set out in a small fishing boat. Can you pretend to get in the fishing boat? Jesus climbed into the boat to take a nap. As soon as his head touched the pillow, he fell fast asleep. It was a beautiful evening. A gentle breeze rustled the sails. The friends were chatting happily as they headed out into the middle of the lake. Everything was perfect. Just right for a nice, quiet sail. But do you think that's what happened? Ah, uh -uh, just listen on. They were only about halfway across when, out of nowhere, whirling winds swept across the lake, fierce and strong like a hurricane. A blinding flash of lightning lit up the sky. Thunder roared right overhead. The storm blew the water into a towering wave that hurled the little boat up and then sent it hurtling, crashing back down, down, down. The fishing boat was blown and buffed and tossed and turned back and forth and up and down and left and right and round and round. And in the middle of the storm, Jesus was asleep. Now, Jesus' friends had been fishermen all their life. But in all their years fishing on this lake, they had never once seen a storm like this one. No matter how hard they struggled with their ropes and sails, they couldn't control the boat. This storm was too big for them. But the storm wasn't too big for Jesus. Help! They screamed. Wake up! Quick, Jesus! Jesus opened his eyes. Rescue us! Save us! They shrieked. Don't you care? Of course Jesus cared. And this was the very reason he had come. To rescue them and to save them. Jesus stood up and spoke to the storm. Hush, he said. That's all. And the strangest thing happened. The winds and the waves recognised Jesus' voice. They had heard it before, of course. It was the same voice that made them in the very beginning. They listened to Jesus and they did what he said. Immediately, the wind stopped. The water Calm down. It glittered innocently in the moonlight and lapped against the side of the boat as if nothing had happened. The little boat bobbed up and down gently. There was deep stillness and a great quiet. But Jesus turned to his wind torn friends. Why are you scared? he asked. Did you forget who I am? Did you believe your fears instead of me? Jesus' friends were very quiet, as quiet as the wind and waves, and into their hearts came a different kind of storm. What kind of man is this? they asked him. Even the wind and waves obey him. They didn't realise yet that Jesus was the Son of God. Jesus' friends had been so afraid that they had only seen the big waves. They had forgotten that if Jesus was with them, then they had nothing to be afraid of, no matter how small their boat or how big the storm. Well, that was an interesting story. Oh, hello, have you come to join us? Oh, look, here's Jasper. Say hello to Jasper, everybody. He's saying hello to you. Hi, Jasper. Did you enjoy the story? Yeah. I wonder which was your favourite bit of the story? Oh, he thinks the bit where the, at the end where the storm calmed down, yeah. What else can you think about the story? Yeah, I think they were. He was saying that some people were very scared in the story. I 
wonder what you're scared of, Jasper. What do you not like? Um, uh, lions. Yes, I would be scared of lions as well. He gets a bit scared whenever he sees a lion. I think I don't mind if he's in a cage, but if he was just walking down the street, I'd be very scared, wouldn't you? Yeah, what else? Spiders. How many of you are scared of spiders? I don't mind them, but I don't like the great big ones with big hairy legs. Oh, and something else. Peanut butter. How can you be scared of peanut butter? I, there's nothing to be scared of with peanut butter. Oh, I see. You just don't like peanut butter. I, th I don't really like peanut butter. But I'm not scared of peanut butter. He can't hurt me. Okay. And what do you think we learnt from the story, Jasper? Uh, oh. Yeah. Shall I tell them or do you want to? Okay. Jasper says that he thinks that no matter what storm we find ourselves in, we can not be afraid because we can call on Jesus and Jesus can help us in the storms of our life. All right, you've got to go now. Bye, everybody wave goodbye. Bye, Jasper. So that's the story and that's something we can learn from it. Challenge. There's a, there's a, a YouTube video of Dougie Doug Doug called Glory and Honour. And on that video, they uh, sign, they do sign language, like for deaf people to, to be able to understand. I wonder if you can look on YouTube, with, perhaps with your mum or your dad, find that U YouTube video, and can you learn the uh, sign language? Glory and honour, praises we bring. See if you can watch that video and learn those uh, sign language. It's a great song. It's been really speaking to me and in this time we want to know, give glory and honour to Jesus our King. Have a good week. See you next week. Bye.